Hello and welcome to another edition of Autocar Quick News, your weekly wrap of all the happenings in the automotive world. Before we begin, please ensure you're subscribed to Autocar India and have hit the bell icon to be notified every time we have a new video up. We'll start the week's news with Maruti Suzuki that has launched CNG variants of the Baleno hatchback and XL6 MPV. The Baleno CNG is offered in top 2 Zeta and Alpha variants with prices ranging from 8.28 lakh rupees to 9.21 lakh rupees ex showroom. The hatchback from Nexa lineup of Maruti gets a 1.2 litre engine that churns out 77.5 horsepower and 98.5 Nm of torque in the CNG mode. And it is paired to a 5 speed manual gearbox with a claimed efficiency of 30.61 km per kilogram. The XL6 on the other hand is only offered in the entry level Zeta variant and is available for 12.24 lakh rupees. It gets a 1.5 litre engine, churning out 88 horsepower and 121.5 Nm of torque in the CNG mode. The XL6 comes with a larger 60 litre fuel tank but returns a fuel efficiency of 26.32 km per kilogram. Maruti Suzuki also had big reason to celebrate with production crossing 2.5 crore vehicles. Maruti's first model, the 800, came out all the way back in 1983. Well, Maruti is also in the midst of a product portfolio revamp and has brought out the new Baleno, Brezza, Alto K10 and Grand Vitara over 2022. Hyundai is all set to fight the Tata punch by launching its very own all-new entry-level SUV by next year during the festive season. The new SUV will sit below the venue and will be based on the platform underpinning the Grand i10 Neos and Aura. Codenamed Hyundai AI3 CUV, it will be positioned as a compact utility vehicle and will be slightly better than the Casper pictured here that is sold in some international markets. The entry-level SUV might get the same 1.2 litre petrol powertrain as the Grand i10 and Aura, but the decision for CNG is yet to be taken. There is no word on how it will be priced but it is expected to rival the Tata Punch, Citroen C3, Nissan Magnite and the Renault Kyger. We were the first to break the news of MG's plans to launch a two-door compact electric vehicle. The car maker has now confirmed the news and has announced the model will go on sale in India in 2023. The entry-level offering from MG will likely be previewed at the 2023 Auto Expo. Based on the Wuling Air EV that's already on sale in Indonesia, the MG Air, as it will be called, will be substantially tweaked for India, especially the air conditioning and battery thermal systems. The two-door compact EV has a funky and boxy silhouette with futuristic detailing. It measures just 2.9 meters in length and has a wheelbase of 2010 mm, even shorter than the Maruti Suzuki Alto. Despite the compact size, the Air EV will be packed to the brim with features. It is expected to get a dual 10.25-inch touchscreen layout for the infotainment system and instrumentation. MG Motor will likely target affluent household in big cities, where it will be used as an urban runabout than a full-fledged family runabout. It is likely to be priced around 10 lakh rupees. The MG EV is expected to get either a 20 kilowatt hour or a 25 kilowatt hour battery, which could offer a real-world driving range of up to 150 kilometers. Power output is not confirmed but it could be around the 40 horsepower mark with its single motor front wheel drive layout. Kia has hiked the prices of the Karens for the second time this year. The MPV was launched in February and has been in high demand ever since. Variants with the naturally aspirated 1.5 litre petrol engine with manual gearbox see a maximum price hike of 50,000 rupees, while variants with the turbocharged 1.4 litre petrol manual have a price hike between 10,000 to 20,000 rupees. The turbo petrol DCT variants see a uniform price hike of 20,000 rupees, while the diesel power variants see a price hike between 30 to 35,000 rupees. Moving on to some news from the two wheeler segment Royal Enfield will unveil its latest motorcycle with a 650cc engine, the Super Meteor 650. The bike will be shown at ICMA in Milan on November 8th, and its India debut is scheduled at the Royal Enfield Rider Mania 2022 to be held in Goa. While many test mules were spotted running C8 Zoom Cruise tires like the rest of the RE650 cc lineup, the teaser image shows the bike with the Pirelli Phantom Sport Comp rear tire. It will be interesting to see which tire the production version will sport and whether it will differ based on the market. The teaser also gives a rough idea of the instrumentation the Super Meteor 650 will carry, and it looks similar to the Meteor 350. It's shown with a large offset dial housing the analog speedometer 
and a small digital screen for trip information. A smaller dial for the trip or navigation can also be seen next to the main dial and it is most likely to be offered as an optional accessory. China's QJ Motor is set to make its debut in India with four new motorcycles later this month. QJ Motor, which has so far only existed in its home market of China, is a sister brand to Benelli and both are owned by the Quanjiang Group. The most familiar of the four models coming is the SRC 500 as it is essentially a Benelli Imperiale 400 with a few styling tweaks and larger 480cc engine producing 25.8 horsepower and 40 Nm of torque. The other retro motorcycle in the QJ's lineup is the SRC 250 that sports its own design language which is vastly different from the SRC 500. It runs a 249cc parallel twin engine that produces 17.7 horsepower and 16.5 Nm. QJ Motor will also launch SRK 400 naked motorcycle to take on the KTM Duke 390. The sharp looking motorcycle gets a 400cc parallel twin that churns out a respectable 41.5 horsepower and 37 Nm similar to the Duke 390. The chassis seems to be shared with the Benelli TNT 300 so it gets a trellis frame with upside down forks and a monoshock at the rear. The fourth bike from QJ Motor is the SRV 300 which has a strong Harley Davidson connection. The American giant partnered with QJ Motor to tap into the growing middleweight segment in the Asian markets. The SRV 300 is the only bike of the four to be powered by a V-twin engine displacing 296cc and producing 30.7 horsepower and 26 newton meters. We'll have more details in the days to come. Taiwanese electric vehicle and battery swapping technology leader Gogoro has now entered India with a battery swapping pilot project. It will partner up with Zip Electric that runs an EV as a service platform for last mile deliveries. The pilot will commence in Delhi next month and in this project, Zip will use the Gogoro electric scooters for its B2B operations. The scooters will get a 1.6 kWh Gogoro battery that can be swapped at a Gogoro network go station. Gogoro claims the whole process to swap a depleted battery with a fully charged one takes only 6 seconds. The firm says it plans to start with 6 stations and 100 electric vehicles. For the stations, Gogoro has cabinets for storing and charging the battery packs that are designed to be modular. Gogoro is a market leader in Taiwan and there are about 1.1 million of its batteries deployed in Taiwan. And they boast of 150 million swaps annually at their 2400 locations. Gogoro currently has 10,000 battery swap locations around Taiwan. And that's a wrap on the news from this week. See you again with all the news from next week.